Welcome to Tier 1, the music review video series where I'll be reviewing one song per episode. I'll be judging these songs based off of these four criteria, vocals, lyricism, production, and overall enjoyment. The first song I'll be reviewing is Hell and Back by Baker. Hope you enjoy. Before I had everything, I was lonely. Now you're my... I feel the vocals in this song are very untouched and unscathed, which I think is good personally, um, just because it really accentuates his raw voice. And I feel like in this track specifically, that's definitely needed to, um, to bring out every aspect of Baker's versatility. I feel like the vocals in this song are definitely a strong point, just because they definitely, you know, discuss a, a tough topic that a lot of songs don't. Um, and I think it really expresses how you know, one person can change someone's entire life and their entire perspective on life. And that's definitely what happened to Baker um, within the song. Production in this song is definitely the strongest point just because the, you know, the initial harmonic whistle um, definitely brings like a very warm and nostalgic feel to the song that a lot of people look for in music. Um, and the transitions between the chorus and each of the verses with the trumpet um is definitely you know definitely follows that warm and nostalgic feel um as it kind of fades into the background um you know the overall melody is super consistent um and it's super easy to follow which definitely makes the song very listenable um for a lot of people um even if you're used to you know um you know punk rock rock and roll um, trap rap, metal, you know, anything. I feel like this song is definitely very easy to listen to, um, and it's very enjoyable. Overall, I'm going to give Helen Back by Baker a 7.7 .7 out of 10, um, and this ties in, you know, a, a bunch of things. Um, the four criteria that I listed off in the beginning, um, you know, the vocals are really solid, um, but the thing is, there's not too much versatility, um, as far as the vocals go, um, which is not a bad thing. Uh, I don't feel like this song necessarily needs it. Um, but in order to wow me, I feel like that's definitely something that needs to be included. Um, the production is very, very solid. Um, you know, there's a lot of versatility within the production. And I feel like, you know, that was definitely, a, like I said, you know, the strongest point of the song. Um, the storytelling is another factor that I um, put a lot of thought into. Um, I think that is definitely really, really good. Um, it it almost it almost reads like a book. Um, if you were to read the lyrics, um, you know you can you can imagine everything that he's going through. He, uh, you know, he sets the setting really well. He sets the scene really well for the listener. Um, and I think overall, you know, this is a really, really good song. And I think it's something that, uh, like I said before, is really easy to listen to. Um, regardless of what genre you favor, um, I feel like this is definitely a song that a lot of people should be listening to. Um, and yeah, 7.7 7 out of 10, a uh, really good song, but it's definitely not something that is going to completely wow me to get a score above a 9.